So here's how to set up an email campaign in System.io. If you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to do that, as System does come with the ability to use them for free, which is always great. Let's begin. All right, so there are a few things that you're gonna to wanna to do when it comes to creating an email campaign. Obviously, setting up your email, which I'm gonna guide you through some of the actual documentation that you can use. I'll talk about that a little bit more. There's also gonna be creating an email campaign, and of course, you wanna create a very quick funnel just to kind of connect them. So, so first things first, when you're on the inside of your dashboard, what you wanna do is hover on over emails and go to campaigns. Once you are here, simply click on create. And what you wanna do is just give it a name. I'm gonna be calling it an email campaign just cause it's something basic and bland for this example. You know, you can enter your niche here or something so you know what the email campaign is gonna be all about. Now, next up, you may or may not have this yet. This is gonna be the sender email address. So if you don't have this, I'm gonna very quickly show you how you can set it up. So what I wanna do is go to this right here and go to settings. Let me just open it up in a new window and I'll keep this here. All right, so if you hover over your actual picture right there and go to settings, from there you wanna to go to email. So there are two things that you need to do and deeper in the description, I'm gonna have articles for both of these steps because they explain it a lot better than I can. Okay, so first and foremost, you wanna enter in your email here from your specific domain. So I have james at marketingisle.com and what you wanna do is click here to confirm your email address. Upon doing so, it's gonna send you an email to your inbox. All you have to do is click on that link. It's so easy to do. Okay, from then on out, what you wanna do is just authenticate your domain and display its information in your email header, which will help improve your email delivery rate. So the reason I also wanted to upgrade or update this specific tutorial is because system has changed it. You can no longer use like a Yahoo or an AOL or a Gmail email address. My guess is because a lot of people were doing that and just spamming from like emails that weren't there. So you do have to have a specific domain. And all you do is go into the DNS settings and you add them into to where the specific website that you have. If I go to the article right here, it's gonna talk about exactly what you need to do. And this is one of those things where if I went through and showed you how I did it on mine, it might not be the same as yours because where you authenticate your domain could be completely different from me. For example, I use Cloudflare, and as you can see right here, this is gonna be something completely different. Uh, it just depends on where you're gonna be kind of hosting your domain. Nevertheless, you can walk through here, go through the steps, and if you have any questions whatsoever, either leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help, or you can reach out to System. When I originally actually reached out to them, it took like 15 to 30 minutes or so. It wasn't very long at all, so they have a very fast response time, at least the times I've reached out to them. So if you do have any help with that, that's where you can get that. Once again, I will leave links to both of those articles down below in case you need more help. Anyway, once you've done and it's, and it's authenticated, there will be a little bit of a delay after that. It'll showcase right here where you can select it and click on save. So that's how we get to where we are now. If you've already done that part, I will have the chapters down below where you can kind of skip ahead. So let's click on save. And there we go, it's been successfully created. Now what we wanna do is click on the specific name that we just created right here. All right, and of course it should look empty because there's nothing there. This is our email campaign. Let's click on the create button. All right, so subject line. This is gonna be an example. Let's say someone opts in and they wanted to get a free gift from you, a PDF, a cheat sheet, VIP training, whatever it's going to be, right? So I like, click here to, all right, so click here to access what you requested. Make sure you put your sender name in. Don't use mine. People will do that. I do have to say that people will use my name for some odd reason, but uh, click here to access what you requested. I like this because it's a call to action and they're like, in case they forgot what they requested in the first place, it's kind of more of like, what was it that I requested? And of course, you'll let them know right away. So it's a call to action. I also don't like using the word free. Free many times can go into the spam box just because so many people spam stuff with like, like free this, free that, free that. So I try and use that as least amount as possible. So click here to access what you requested, click here to download what you requested, whatever it's going to be. Something like that is what I use. So let's click on save. All right, so here we are, and it's gonna be very straightforward. And to help you even more, I actually came up with a template that you can use. And if I remember, I will also put this deeper in the description. So I'm gonna open up chat GPT very quickly. So aside from actually getting a tutorial, you're gonna get a little bit of a training as well. So here's the template for the welcome email. You wanna thank them for opting in, okay? A call to action where they can get their free gift, that's what CTA stands for. Quickly talk about what they should expect from you in the future mails so you have some bullet point benefits and just simply signing off. 
Now I just said, now I'm gonna enter in more information about the cheat sheet. So they are going to be, all right, so I put, they're going to be downloading a cheat sheet with some of the best software for digital marketers. So this is so that ChatGPT knows kind of what to talk about. And for my niche benefits, you can talk about anything important to digital marketers. Uh, not super specific, but we can always change it if needed. So given the fact we have that, let's click right here. Let's see what we get coming up. So your cheat sheet is ready. Like you could use something like that too if you wanted. Thanks a bunch for signing up. Glad to have you here. Uh, you can grab your free cheat sheet with some of the best digital marketing software right here inside your blah, blah, blah. So here's what you can expect. Future emails, new tools, tutorials, walkthroughs, resources. I, that looks fantastic. That's pretty much everything I do. Let's make your digital business run smoother than a coconut sliding down a palm tree. Has the James wittiness as well. So uh, something like this actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to copy this and let's go back. And I'm just going to paste this in. Okay. Let's see, you can grab your, once again, I'm gonna remove free uh, with some of the best software by clicking here. I'm just gonna make this the link, okay? In case you're curious about how you can add a link in, all you have to do is highlight it right here and right here. And ideally, if you have a thank you page, I like sending someone back to the thank you page. So this would go to like your typage.com and I'm just going to do this as an example. Of course, that's probably some random page that doesn't work, but just kind of showcasing. And we did talk about how this is going to be bullet points. I like using bullet points because it just makes it look a little bit better or any type of like indentation. So we can do this. Uh, we can do move this back. There we go. Let's do this two more times. Oops, wrong button. And we'll do that once more. Perfect. And just like that. So that's pretty much going to be a very straightforward email when it comes to sending your welcome email. Now, anytime, if you did want to have attachments, you can do that here. I personally just like sending a link straight back to the thank you page. And the reason for that very quickly, just want to give you a tip. If someone opts into the thank you page, you want to send them back there because ideally you usually have something else that's going to be important. Aside from getting their free cheat sheet, there could be a one-time offer there. It could be say maybe a webinar registration an offer to get free coaching where you can do coaching calls with someone and maybe close clients. It could be a special VIP coupon, a discount, a flash sale, whatever it is. The idea is that not only are you sending them back to where they can get their free gift, but it's another option where they can have the opportunity of making a purchase from you. You see what I mean? So if you ever want to save draft, you can do that, but let's just do save and publish. And this is going to be choose after the mail. This is going to be perfectly fine because it's the first one. We want zero days immediately. So once they opt in, they get it. Obviously, there's sometimes a delay, like a minute or two, but you know, as soon as possible, ideally. Let's click on activate. Changes have been saved. Now, what we can do is go back to the email campaign. All right, and given the fact this is a tutorial about email campaigns, I just wanna very quickly show you how you can create more emails and add them to the days after, okay? Because you might wanna make this a complete sequence that goes for like, you know, 80, 90, 100 days, even longer if you needed. I think I've done one that went around 80 to 90 days. I don't remember the specifics. I know I have a screenshot of it, but this can really help you automate your email marketing if you wanna do it this way. So this is gonna be the first one that's sent immediately. So let's say we wanna do another one. Let's do create. And I'm just going to make all this like just bland, right? Don't worry about this stuff. This is just showcasing how you set up the email. You know, the email that you do is going to be up to you, but let's just say subject. This is going to be email. Uh, sure. Let's say we're done. Let's say this was our perfect email. This obviously isn't it. I'm going to do save and publish. Now, this is what I want to show you. So what you want to do, it needs to be sent after the one we previously did. Okay. And how many days do we want it to be sent after this specific email? You don't want to do zero because then they're going to get immediately and immediately. But ideally you can do one days, you can do two days. It's really up to you how often or how frequently you want to email someone, but this is going to be how you can do it. So you can do one day and you do activate. Okay. So let's go back. All right, so as you can see, what's gonna happen here, they're gonna get this email immediately. Then after this one, it's gonna be one day later. And then the next one you can do after here, it can be one day, it can two days. It's really up to you, but that's gonna be the process for really going out and completing that email campaign. I wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. Like I said, don't worry about how like I didn't put anything in there. This is what I just wanted to show you. So you would just keep repeating the process if you really wanna go deep with your emails. So now that we have created our email campaign and you know how to kind of go out and keep doing that let's attach it to a sales funnel so very quickly what I want to do 
is if you go to over sites right here, you hover over it and you click on sales funnels, here's where I am. I'm gonna do this very quickly where I'm not gonna enter in the details, I just wanna show you how to connect it, okay? So let's click on create. And I do have other tutorials that show you how to like go ahead and create landing pages, like the full blown ones. If you need help with that, leave a comment down below and I'll link you to it. So let's just say like example funnel, okay? And this is just building an audience where we can generate leads. Everything else looks fine. Let's do save. Great, funnel has been successfully created. Let's click on our example funnel. All right, great. And very quickly, I'm just gonna choose any of these. Same with the thank you page. Let's say we want something like this, looks good. Okay, let's go back to our squeeze page. Now what we wanna do is click on edit. All right, and so what we wanna do, anytime we have our email opt-in section, we wanna click on the button right here. And as you can see, so submit when button clicked, it's gonna submit form, that's what we want. We also wanna take them to the next step, but we wanna add an automation rule. So let's click add automation rule. Let's do add action. So what's gonna happen is we want to subscribe to a campaign when they subscribe, excuse me, when they subscribe, they get added to the campaign. So let's click right here, subscribe to campaign. And upon doing so, this is the reason why we created the email campaign first, because as you can see, it's gonna be here. If you went in and created your landing pages and then you're like, where's my campaign? Well, it's you haven't created it first. So there's a method to my madness. There's a reason why we did that first. So let's do email campaign. Let's do save rule. Okay, and as you can see, when they opt in, they're gonna get sent to that email campaign. Make sure you click on the save button right here. And perfect, let's click on exit page. And if you just wanna double check as well, you can go over to automation rules. And as you can see right here, funnel step form subscribed. This is the same thing that we just did. It's just showcasing it right there. So ideally what's gonna happen, I'm gonna open up this funnel in a new tab. Let's just do view funnel step. So what's gonna happen is that when you have your beautiful landing page and it's all optimized and you have your copy, they're going to go in here, they're gonna enter in their email, like it probably wouldn't say contact us, it would just say like continue to get your free gift. They get sent to your thank you page and then they immediately get that first email that we did that's zero days in. Like, like I said, immediately, sometimes there's like a minute or two delay, but they'll get it very quickly. And then a day on from that, they'll get the next one. And if you keep continuing that email sequence, you could do it maybe two days later, then three days, and every email is gonna be three days after that previous one. It's really up to you. The world is gonna be your email marketing marketing campaign oyster, but all in all, that is gonna be the tutorial about how you can create an email campaign in system.io. I hope you got some value out of this, and if you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And of course, if you haven't gotten to test out system and you would like to, feel free to use the link down below in the description or the pinned comment to get started with them for free. My name is James, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.